Hey, welcome to the channel where we show you how to put some prep in your step. Uh, today, I want to take a look at some organizational data and structuring that in a couple of different ways, uh, depending on what we want the output to be. Um, I got a mock data set here and I've structured it in a way very similar to how uh, ADP exports organizational data because I know that that's a, you know, a popular payroll company that a lot of people work with, but uh, it should still be a familiar format for some organizational data. Uh, so hopefully you'll be able to apply it in your use case. Uh, so let's dive in. So I've connected to my table here. It's just some org data. So I'm gonna pull that in and I'm gonna pull in a clean step. And we've just got four columns here. We've got the email, the role, the manager, and the department. And so what I wanna be able to do is I want to see for every employee, every email, all of the managers associated with them. And so right now, the way that it's structured, I can only see their direct manager. So I can't really use a pivot step because the data is not going to, it doesn't know how to pivot and I'll assign all of those managers to each employee. So we've got to sort of manually pivot out the data. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the input step and join it to the clean step. And the reason I did it that way is because that puts my clean step on the left side. Whichever table uh, or step that you drag to join on another step, that step becomes the right step and the one that you dragged it on becomes the left step. So this just makes it easier for me personally, um, but you could do it the other way around if that works better for you. So I'm going to change the color of my clean step here just to make it a little bit easier for me to see. And for my join, I want to take the manager from my left table and join that to the email from my input table. And I want to pull all of the records from my clean step. And so the reason I'm doing that is because this is going to pull in the manager that was associated with the, the, each row here. And now, because this data set shows the manager of each employee, now I can see the manager's manager. So just let me just pull in a clean step to see what that looks like. So here was my main table, the first four columns, and then this is the table that I just pulled in. And so now you can see for the manager, I pulled in their details, which also shows me their manager. So now I know that this person here, this column, is gonna be my second line manager. And I know that I can just go ahead and rename this one to first line manager. And for our use case right now, we are not really interested in the other details. And this column is now just a duplicate of the first line manager column. And so I can go ahead and remove these. Um, and I'll just move the department over here. So our manager columns are in a, in a row. And so now, uh, since I've got more records here in this column, I know that I need to do another join to get another line of management. So again, I'm gonna take my input step and join it onto my clean step here, uh, change my join clause. And so now this time I'm gonna take the second line manager and join that to my email from my input step. I want all of the records in my clean step. And then I'm gonna add a clean step here to see what that one looks like. And so again, we can see, okay, so here's the first line manager and here's the second line manager. That join pulled in the details of the second line manager. So now I can see the third line manager, which is gonna be this column. So let me go ahead and write third line manager. And again, these, <clears throat> these columns are irrelevant. Okay, so I can still see I've got a couple records in the third line manager column. So that tells me I need to do another join. And so you could keep repeating this step as many times as you need to get all of your managers for a row of, or, or for each employee. So again, let me change this time. This time I'm gonna use my third line manager and join that up to the email. And I'm gonna take the, all the records from the left table. And I'm gonna add a clean step here to see what that looks like. And so again, uh, there's the third line manager. This is where the join happened. And these, this is the details uh, for the third line manager, which gives me their manager. And this becomes the fourth line manager. And now 
Since the CEO is the only person in this column, I know that there's no more lines of management. And I can remove these three columns. And so there you go. Now for every single employee, I can see all of their, their lines of management. And this is a pretty small data set, so it only goes four lines. But again, you could keep repeating this to get the fifth line, sixth line, and so on. Um, so there's one way to do it. What about what if I want to, instead of seeing all of the managers for the employee, I only want to see their direct manager, but I also want to be able to tell what level in the organizational chain they're in. Um, and our data was still structured that way at the beginning. So I would still have to get it to this point because now what I can do is I can uh, take a pivot step. So I can pivot the data and I'm gonna pivot it by all of the managers. So I'm gonna pull those, those managers here. And so we can see the, the um, it already renamed our field of the, the values to line manager. And so I can go ahead and just rename this one. I'll just call it management line. So now for every employee, every employee now has four rows here and we can see all of the line managers kind of duplicate those rows. Uh, so what I can do to get the level is I can add an aggregate step here and I'm going to pull in my email, role, and department, and I'm going to count the managers that each uh, employee has. I'm going to do account distinct and we know that null records don't receive a count and so I should only have one record at the zero level which would be the CEO and then the CEO's reports are level one and their reports are level two and so on. But level zero, I don't really wanna start at level zero, I wanna start at level one. So I'll add a clean step here and I'll just create a calculated field and I'll call this one level and I'll say line manager plus one. So now my CEO is level one, their reports are level two, their reports are level three, their reports are level four, and so on. So now I've got uh, in my data, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this field. I've got the employee, what level in the chain they're in, their role, and their department. Now that I've gotten this far, I'm gonna go ahead and join the input step to our last clean step one more time. I'm going to just restructure this a little bit to make it easier for me. Uh, pull this down a little bit. There we go. Give it a nice good shape. Uh, but the reason why I did that join is because I wanted to be able to see their level, but also their direct manager. So I need to pull that direct manager back in by doing an inner join. And I'm going to join on the email because again, I'm, I just want to see their direct manager, which is already in the original data set. And so I'm gonna add a clean step here. And I'm just gonna get rid of these duplicate values. And so there we go. So I've got the employee, their manager, what level in the chain they're at, their role, and their department. Now, here's a bonus tip. You can take the data the way that it's structured right here and you can plug it into the multi-level dendrogram template that was created by Zen Master Tuan Huang, and you can create a really cool interactive organizational chart. So I'm gonna put a link to that uh, tutorial in the description. Um, it's a pretty cool thing to check out, so if you're working with data like this and that's something that, uh, that you wanna learn how to create, uh, again, you can plug this in there and you can create a couple of different levels, interact with it in different ways. So um, those are just a couple of ways to work with some organizational data. Uh, I hope you were able to get some value out of this. Leave me uh, some comments and some feedback of other content that you'd like to see. Uh, and I hope to see you in the next one.